Mm. You're watching TVC News at 7. It's Menstrual Hygiene Day, and we're trying to reconnect with the Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Tallinn, who joins us live from Arabuja Studios. We're told that the number of girls and women who lack access to Menstrual products may double in the coming days with the proposed price hike in sanitation uh, or rather sanitary products. How exactly is government reacting to this? It went off again. I'm asking how government is reacting to the proposed price hike in sanitary products given the huge number of Nigerian girls and women who currently lack access to them. Thank you very much. The high number of uh, women and girls in the rural areas that lack access to um, sanitary hygiene materials is quite high. And that's why on this day, as we mark the World Sanitation and Hygiene, um, Menstruation and Hygiene Day, we are calling on all well-meaning Nigerians to support indigent women and children in school with hygiene and sanitary uh, materials. Because for girls who don't have access to uh, pads and uh, menstrual hygiene uh, materials are forced to be away from school for a week every month. And that is not right. The ministry is doing its best to reach out and support such girls. But the number of such girls that, that need support is quite high. Government alone cannot do it. We call on all well-meaning Nigerians to support of teenage students that have found themselves in this situation and women and girls in IDPs. Indeed, Honorable Minister. Because are you, are, you, are you concerned that the challenge here, one of the challenges here, has to also deal with importation yes. tariff? One would think that by now this product should be sufficiently produced locally. Is that an alternative that yes. you're exploring as well? It is an alternative because we are talking today as we launched this, uh, the part bank, a lot of support that came where some of those that are producing these sanitary parts that is even washable, they produce them in Nigeria. And it's washable, it's reusable, and it's much, much cheaper. So we are encouraging those that are produced in Nigeria, and at the same time pursuing uh, through the Ministry of Trade and Investment to ensure that the tariff is reduced. But most especially, the ones uh, produced in Nigeria, because we must encourage made in Nigerian goods in order to create employment and support uh, those that are trying into this, because that is a responsibility for us to encourage uh, made in Nigerian products. Let's talk about the sustainability of government effort. Women and girls in Nigeria have now become endangered species at the height of insecurity across the nation. So girls and women are killed, maimed, displaced, and molested. The least of their problem as we speak is um, decent menstrual hygiene. Are there specific plans for, for these affected people? Honorable Minister, I'm asking if government has specific plans for girls and women who are affected by conflict across the country, who are really impoverished yes. by this development. Government has specific plans and government are fully ready to support. But as I said, government alone cannot do it. The number is quite high and most of the schools you will agree with me, in the rural areas, lack most of these um, uh, amenities, particularly water. And we are also working with the uh, Ministry of uh, Water Resources to ensure 
that potable water boreholes are available in most boarding schools and in every uh, rural community because the women need water to keep themselves clean and safe while uh, having their menstrual cycle. You're talking about private partnership. What are the systems on ground yes. um, through which um, individuals who are interested can key into this government initiative? There are quite a number of NGOs uh, and private uh, organizations that are willing to support and work with us. So I'm saying that someone is watching the news right now who's also interested, how do they get involved? They get involved through the ministry. Absolutely. A big we thank are you. available. Okay. Yes. Please go we ahead. are available. They let, let them, uh, whoever is interested to partner with us on this project can reach us through the Ministry of Women Affairs. Pauline Talim, Honorable Minister of Women Affairs, joins us live from Abuja Studios. Thank you so much for talking to us tonight. Th thank you.